a very good morning students in today's class we'll be doing a practical on chloride ion testing and this is being done by one of my students akshat sharma hi akshat okay we begin with the salt he'll take a pinch of salt in a test tube and add dilute sulfuric acid that is the first step to an ion analysis and he will be observing evolution of a gas so he's adding dilute sulfuric acid and you can see there is no evolution of a gas which means that the first four anions are absent namely carbonate sulfite sulfide and nitrite are absent had there been a brown gas it would have been nitrite had there been any other gas it could have been the others but for carbonate you get brisk effervescence that is something like the bubbles that you get on adding eno to water so there are no bubbles so all these four carbonate sulfite sulfide and nitrite are absent discard the contents of the test tube wash your test tube and move to the second lot of anions by taking the fresh pinch of salt he's taken a fresh test tube also that may not be done by you you can use the same test tube again take a pinch of salt this time you are to add concentrated sulfuric acid and give a close observation for any evolution of a gas add a little more of concentrated sulfuric acid do it with a dropper you have to be cautious with sulfuric acid you can see there is a uh, bubbles there and these bubbles illustrate evolution of some kind of a gas which can be verified by using a glass rod dipped in ammonium hydroxide solution near the mouth of the test tube and you can have a look evolution of dense white fumes we try wait a minute use a freshly prepared ammonium hydroxide solution use that put a glass rod in it now we are not getting a much clearer view uh, i think we'll repeat it a little add a little more of salt to the test tube leave the glass rod add a little more of salt and be a little quicker because the gas perhaps has already escaped fine add sulfuric acid and quickly then bring the glass rod dipped in ammonia yeah you can see the evolution now fine that's one of the preliminary tests to show that it could be a chloride and you can see the whole test tube is in fumes of ammonium chloride moving ahead moving to the confirmatory test of chloride we'll discard the contents and use the original solution in some books it's written as water extract what do we mean by the original solution original solution means salt plus water make the original solution take a pinch of salt add water to it shake it to dissolve it completely once your original solution is ready add a little more of water fine take one ml of this in a separate test tube because we'll be using the os if you need it ahead for your cation analysis you can keep it for the cation analysis also one ml of os to this add silver nitrate silver nitrate is always added to the original solution on addition of silver nitrate solution you can see the formation of a white ppt this white ppt is of silver chloride now to confirm further you need to dissolve this ppt in ammonium hydroxide since our aim is to dissolve the ppt there's no point in taking this lot of ppt discard half of it fine with the leftover ppt add ammonium hydroxide in excess 
can observe the dissolution of the silver chloride. That's it. It's become clearer. You can add a little more if you want. Excess of ammonium hydroxide should make your test tube contents clear, and they are, which shows that the confirmatory test for. Not chai.